By typical Rookie of the Year contender standards, the World of Outlaws normally see a handful of drivers start the year chasing some top 10s, a top 5 here or there, more or less just looking to gain experience in that first year of World National Tour. But 2019 was different for Canadian sensation Ricky Weiss. A protege of dirt late model Hall of Famer Scotty Bloomquist driving a chassis that he built, Ricky made his presence felt immediately, letting every competitor know that he didn't come to just play around. He came to challenge the Outlaw regulars and put his number seven in victory lane. Starting out by qualifying for all four Outlaw shows in Volusia, garnering two top tens in that time, he drove straight into the month of March, scoring back-to-back -back top fives at Duck River and Smoky Mountain in Tennessee. May brought more success for the 31-year-old as he took advantage of the Shepard versus Lanigan duel at Wayne County Speedway and snuck in for his first of six runner-up finishes. His final lap, final corner dive for the finish line underneath the Rocket House car was unsuccessful, but was the first spark in a series of battles for the lead between the two. Deer Creek Speedway in Minnesota was the venue for Wise vs. Shepard Part 2, where Ricky charged from a ninth place start, threatened for the lead several times in the final 10 laps, picking up another podium finish in a region he knows quite well. Six days later, Wise was back at it again with another runner-up result at one of his former home tracks, River City Speedway in North Dakota. Creeping up the point standings with all of these podium finishes, he was in firm control of second place in the points by the end of July and hitting a stride, scoring four more top fives before summer was out, including another runner-up and a contender for Race of the Year at Port Royal. By the end of the season before Charlotte, he tallied 12 podium finishes, 16 top fives, 29 top tens. If it wasn't already obvious, this was a rookie season unlike many others. Establishing yourself on the list as one of the biggest rising stars in the country in your rookie year on a national tour is no easy task, but there's no question he did exactly that. For the very first time in series history, the World of Outlaws Rookie of the Year title is heading north of the border into the shop of Headingley, Manitoba's Ricky Wise.